Hey folks, it's Will Diego of South San Diego and Tijuana, Mexico. I'm down here in Tijuana at my apartment today, uh, February the 6th or so. So you got the bug out van over there. Uh, bug out van, I don't know if you can see it, but it's all loaded and ready to go. Here, I'll give you a, a rear view of it. There it is. It's been a beautiful February 2022 so far. Just like summer down here in Southern California and Baja, Mexico. Man, uh, I don't see how you guys can stay up there in the Midwest and the Northeast with all that snow and sleet and rain and terrible weather when it's so nice down here. And it's not so bad uh, with the crowds. You know, does that look crowded to you? Does that look crowded to you? No. Does it look expensive? <laughs> Heck no. You know, it's so cheap to live over here. Such beautiful weather. We're five miles from the ocean. I'm... 20 miles from Great Fish in uh, my first bug out spot down there, just past Rosarito, Mexico. You know, and uh, the way things are going, any day now, any day now, Russia could attack Ukraine. And when it, when it does, it's going to change the world. You know, China's lining up. Russia and China had a secret meeting the other day. You know, they're just waiting to pounce. They're, they're waiting until they think they can catch us with our pants down, which, uh, you know, could happen. I just want to stay the heck out of San Diego. That's all I'm telling you is uh, I'd rather be 20 miles south into Mexico than sitting in San Diego on the other side of the line the other day, the little woman and I were down in uh, Ensenada, and for the first time ever in 15 years of living in Mexico, we saw like a platoon of Mexican soldiers, you know, getting ready. They were gassing up and filling up, getting ready for something, you know, and the first thing that's going to happen is they're gonna close down this border. I'm telling you, there won't be anybody getting out of the United States. <laughs> How's that gonna feel, being trapped in the United States and you can't get into Mexico? You know, the shoe's on the other foot. It's not gonna feel good. But if you got a plan, you know, uh, there's ways to get out. You know, uh, dirt bike, uh, boat, you know. When the normal border closes, you got to go around it <laughs> sneaking into Mexico I don't know what kind of crime that is but in time of emergency who knows oh the little woman finally showed up oh with the little doggy yeah, come, on. come on come on come on Lola Lola come on Lola come here Lola come on the little woman with the little doggy Babe, those are papers I'm getting messed up. Fold it, doubler. Hey. Come on, come on, doggy. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Okay, did you uh, double the paper? Double. Get messed up. Okay, folks. Uh, we're gonna go to the sober reddits today and see if we can get some a few more things, maybe sell a couple things. No, no puedes, there's no space. Okay, we gotta do something. Okay, get the dog ready. Hey doggy! <laughs> hey, you gotta have a bug out dog when you when you're when you're when you're bugging out. It won't hurt to have the dog. She can eat scraps and she can also help guard the camp. You know, 
When she grows up, she'll be a good dog like old uh, Poppy here. Poppy. Hi, Poppy. Look, it's Poppy. Lola. Lola. Say hi. Hi, Lola. Hi, Lola. Hi, say hi to Daddy. Oh, ho, 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 ho. Oh, you good, Dougie? You gonna help protect us? You gonna help protect us when we need it? Sure she will. In a couple months, she'll be very protectora. On a pre protectora dog. That's uh, that's okay, company. And uh, help alert when we're sleeping. If somebody tries to sneak into our camp, or I got I got uh, alarms around the bug out vehicle, but. Doesn't hurt to have a dog. So, anyway, folks, uh, you know, I don't know when something's going to happen, but I'm telling you, it's uh, it's not a question of if something's going to happen. It's a question of when something's going to happen. And uh, I just want to be spend more time here in Mexico. The bug out van's all rock and roll, ready to go. Got the little doggy ready to go. Hopefully the little woman's ready to go. <laughs> Sometimes I wonder about that. Just ready to go shopping. Anyway. Lola! Lola, you gonna be a good girl? We got her food. And got my crutches. I'm okay. Ready to go for today anyway. Maybe we'll head to Ensenada and just stay one one step ahead of the game. That's what you got to do, folks, is uh, when things build up to critical point of destruction or change, those are the times that you got to kind of be ready, you know. Uh, something's going to something's gonna break here. Either Russia's going to give in or they're going to move in on, on Ukraine do what they're going to do, and then worry about negotiating later. That's what I think they're going to do, is uh, just go into Ukraine and take over what they can and worry about negotiating later and getting back what whatever sanctions we put on them. Okay, folks, I think we're ready to go. So uh, <laughs> you have a good day. I hope you're ready. God bless everyone. Say goodbye. <laughs> Little lady hates that. Goodbye, folks.